Hi everyone, it's Bren with the Duty to Cricut, bringing you another new Cricut video. This one is a little bit advanced, but if you just follow me step by step, you'll be able to get this. We're going to talk about taking an image that's not an SVG, but it's different colors and creating it into an SVG that you can actually cut on your Cricut all the different colors. Let's get started. Put me down here so you can still see me. But so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload an image. And I found an image um, over at <clears throat> Pixabay. Pixabay is a site that I think it's free to join and you can get pictures there. No big deal. Okay, let's go back over here. Hold on find my place where I am okay so I uploaded an image and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload that into Cricut so we're gonna come right here to upload click on it click on upload image and then you're gonna go and find that wherever you put it and I think I put it in here here we go here's my frog <clears throat> and he probably has way too many colors for this video but we're gonna do it anyway we have a choice of simple, moderately complex, and complex. I don't know why, but I always choose complex. I think I feel like I'm always saving my butt if I do. So choose complex and then choose continue. And he's a little big, so I'm going to zoom out. <clears throat> so this is the area where you would come in and you would clean it up. He doesn't have a background, but if you did, all you'd have to do is click on it because it's automatically set to the select and erase. For instance, if I click on a green here, it erases it. Now I can go back, okay? So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to save this guy as a reference image for ourselves. So we're going to leave him just like he is. We want him exactly like he is because he's already got the background gone. So we're going to go to continue and we're going to save him as a print then cut image and I like to name them so I'm gonna say frog one um, the rest of them I'll probably say something like legs or back or mane or something so anyway we're gonna save that so that's our first one now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do it all over again exactly the same we're gonna upload it browse find him and we're gonna open him I'm still gonna choose complex and I'm gonna choose continue and I'm gonna bring them down in size. Now, I have chosen um, to start with the body. So I'm gonna click on all the other greens in here, all the other colors that aren't this body green, okay? And I'm gonna delete everything. So I'm gonna delete the eyes. I'm gonna delete the spots, and I have to do them individually. And all I have to do is click on my mouse because this setting over here is to select any race. Click on my mouse. Just keep clicking. I even have to click this little upper lip kind of thing. Just keep clicking them all. Anything that is not this green color. Okay. Now, here's a problem. When I get rid of all this stuff. When I click this green down here, this one also erases which isn't a problem now but when I want to save this green one it is a problem so I will have to come in and I'll have to actually erase this with my eraser right here which is a freaking awesome tool and we're going to use that right now but I wanted to let you know that when I erase this one when I click on this one this disappears or if I click on this one this disappears okay so I'm going to click on that and they both disappear which is fine for now but when you're doing that color that's when you have the problem now I don't know why but randomly there are these lines left as you, you can kind of see them but if you hit preview you can really see them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the erase button do you see it right here it even looks like an, an eraser from school and we can make that circle to see how big the circle is now we can make it much larger okay so all I have to do now is click and press. If I'm not really sure where my lines are, I go back to preview 
and I can see them. So I can actually put my eraser over on the top of them. So I'll go back to preview and I can see I've got all this here so I can kind of move it around. And just slowly work through the process, you guys. This is a process. But you are going to be happy with the results. I'm going to promise you. Oops, I don't need to move me. I need to move this. You are going to be happy with it. I promise. One more there. Okay. Once you've got that all completed, this is your first layer. You're going to go down here to continue. You're going to save it once again as a cut, a print and cut. And let's name this Frog to Body. So then you'll know what it is. And the reason this saves you is kind of when we get it all back on the canvas where we're going to cut it over on the layers panel, it's going to be numbered and, and labeled. Like the, I'll know that this is the body. Okay, so we're going to save that. Now we're back over here and we're going to do it again. So let's go one more time. Actually, you have to go back for every layer. Okay, get them back in there, choose complex and then continue make them a little bit smaller and choose the color that you want to save. Let's save the spots this time. So we're going to get rid of the background and the eyes and the mouth and the spots are the same as up here. So we're going to leave those there. These are the same too, but that's when I'm going to run into some problems, right? Because if I erase this, this is going to go and we don't want that. So let's hop back over there. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get my eraser again. Let's make them a little bit bigger. And now I want to erase all of this. Now let me tell you, there's another way to do this that's a little bit quicker. Um, and that's by using the crop. I can't figure the crop out. I mean, <laughs> that didn't sound very good, did it? Um, Sometimes I can figure the crap out, but most of the time it's a little strange. So I just do it this way. So I put my eraser just a little bit smaller because I need to go up into here and erase this. Okay. Now let's once again hit our preview because we have to see if we've got any black lines left. And of course we do. So we're going to come over here and I can kind of see those. So I can see where I need to erase. Whoops. Work on that. Okay, let's hit the preview again and see where else we have. Okay, got one there. Okay. A little bit more. Up, oh, look up here. I missed that completely. Okay. That looks good. So I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to save it as a print and cut and I'm going to name it frog, frog three. I'm going to put spots and side legs so that I know. So now you're kind of giving, getting an idea of what I'm doing. Okay. So do that for every color that you've got the exact same thing and name it. Okay, so then after you're all done, you're going to throw everything into uh, Cricut Design Space because you can see here I have everything saved. So let me just click on all of these. Let's see, I don't need that one, but I do need the reference one. Click on all of them and hit insert. And they're all going to be jumbled, but that's okay. That's okay we're going to separate them. We're going to kind of pull them apart. There's our reference photo. We'll need that. So let's pull, let's see those, let's some of the, pull all this stuff down so we know where it is. Okay, so we've got everything that we need. Okay, I know it looks a little jumbled. Now what I do is I start building back on top of my reference photo because this kind of helps me to know where everything's supposed to be. So I know this is kind of the back. Well, look, it's going behind it. We don't want it to go behind. All you have to do is come up here to arrange and say, send to the front. So we're going to send it to the front and we're going to kind of put it just right where we think it needs to be. We're going to line it up. Okay. Next, let's do these legs. Well, same thing. They're going to go behind. So we're going to have to send it to the front and we'll put the legs in. Now, when we're done, 
we're going to remove the reference photo and then we'll have to tweak it a little bit. Let's do these. We'll go ahead and pull it to the front because we already know it's going to go to the back. Pull these in here. Let's move the spots in. We're going to have to move them to the front. Now, those are fitting there and let's move the mouth, arrange it to the front, move it to the front, get the eyes, whoops, where's the eyes? Here's the eyes, move to them to the front, put them on there, and move these to the front. Those are like the little side arms over here, and then move the grass to the front. Okay, whoops, come back here. So, got all that like we want it, okay. Now, this is how we remove the reference one um, without actually moving anything else. Let's see, I gotta move me. So down here in the layers panel, that's what that is over there is the layers panel. Here is the entire reference one. See, frog one, it didn't have a body part on it. Hit this little eye and it's gonna make it disappear. Okay, so it's not gone, but it's disappeared. So now we can see where we kind of need to like move these around a little bit, but it doesn't really, really, really matter because what matters is when we print them out and put them back together, okay? And here's the other issue. <clears throat> All of these are now print and cuts, and we want them to be just cut, right? Because we're gonna cut them with vinyl. So I'm going to actually pull these apart so that I can kind of see what each one of them are, okay? Because we actually, and I told you this was a little advanced, um, we have to change these. So let's start with this one. Look at there. Huh, I guess I missed that spot. Well, anyway, we're not going to worry about that because this is just for demonstration. So let's start with the body. We need to remember what color that is. Because what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to tell Cricut, no, we don't want to print it. We're going to do a no fill. Immediately, it turns it to gray. We don't want that. But look over here. We can take the gray and we can make it the right green. Now, also remember, the greens don't have to be perfect because you're going to have different vinyl colors that you're going to make it. You know, your, your greens aren't going to be exactly the same. You're going to have varying greens. But as long as you know what color they are, that's what's important. Okay, so this one is now a cut. Now let's look down here for the body. So you he see here, everything else is print and cut. This one just says cut. And that's what we want each one to be. So let's do the eyes. We know that those are white, so we're going to say no fill, and now they're gray, and we're going to make them white, okay? Which I'm a little disturbed by the white stuff in them, but we'll handle that in a minute. So let's do the black, no fill, but we're going to make them black. Let's do this one, no fill, but we're going to go and change it kind of a lime color. So you're going to do that for every one of your pieces, okay? Um, for this, I'm a little disturbed by, but you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to pull all these pieces down, and I'm going to take the shapes. I'm going to take a circle, and I think I'm going to put it just over that. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to drag my line over both of them and I'm gonna come down here to slice. And basically what that's gonna do is that that's gonna slice that hole just a little bit bigger, but it'll be cleaner. Well, that didn't work, did it? Because basically it sliced the hole out, but it didn't slice it out of here. Well, that's okay. We'll go back in and we'll slice a hole in there because that was weird. It's not what I expected at all. Now let's see if that worked. Now it worked. Okay, so let's go back and do this one too. That was just strange. For some reason this one needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, let's try it again. 
Okay, that worked. So we can get rid of all of these pieces. But I'm going to, this size is a little wonky, that's okay, it won't matter. I'm gonna do the bigger one too because I think that it might be a little weird. Okay, so I'm gonna make the outside circle. I'm gonna cut into that too because for whatever reason, when we cut those out, they didn't cut nicely. Ooh, that doesn't look right. You guys, I don't necessarily know what I'm doing here. Let's do that again. Maybe I need to do it a little bit bigger instead of a little bit smaller. Let's try that. I bet it's going to slice it out. I bet I did that wrong. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? This is probably wrong. But I'm going to create a new eye. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. If I put him here and put him here and move, whoops, get back up there. I'm so sorry. I'm going to move him and I'm going to weld these guys together. And now all I have to do is take a small circle out of that other one. <clears throat> but I need to see how big it is. Okay, there. The trick with um, slicing, there we go. Um, the trick with slicing is remembering that slice can only do one, one, like the original image and one other thing. So like only two layers. So if I had put like dots in both of them and wanted to slice it, it won't do that. So you have to remember that. Okay. So now let's just pretend we've got everything to cut like we're supposed to. Okay, like this one is. Let's do this one. No fill, white. So that one's done too. Let's do this one. No fill. Oh, must have already done that one. Okay, so we've done several. So now that when we go to, to make it, just ignore those because those are the ones we haven't done yet. They're already in the right um, mats that they're supposed to because what Cricut does is it puts every color on a separate mat. And basically what this is, it's what we had left in the print and cut. Um, and that's all you have to do. Now remember, if, you, if you're doing HTV, you'll need to mirror it, which is not a big deal either. Um, and then just go cut it. Choose just your regular vinyl or HTV or whatever it is that you're that you're creating and cut it and then piece it together just like a puzzle. That's it, you guys. That's how easy that is. I know you can do this. So get out there. Happy crafting.